Hey guys, this is Traz, and welcome to Rampart. From the makers of Nail, we bring you Rampart. 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 Uh, this is a map we're working on, and it's coming along pretty great. But today, I want to talk to you about Clocklag. I kind of ran into some issues with it on this map, because I didn't really understand what I needed to do to avoid it. So, after working it out, I'd like to take this opportunity to show you how to avoid lag on your custom map, or in your world in general. Uh, I got a few tips and tricks from friends, but some were half true, some were completely false, and some I discovered on my own. So here we have just a one tick clock, and when I start it up, the game instantly becomes unplayable. Uh, decent way to grief, but not really good for this map. This huge jittery lag spikes everywhere I go. Now, you, first thing, you might think it has something to do with the lighting those repeaters are giving off. Which, activating this comparator clock kinda indicates that this might be true. So... We could try glowstoning the area around them. But that lava is already right there. And glowstone really shouldn't do anything to it. So that really doesn't do anything. So you might say, oh, well, clocks in general are just laggy. That's just how they are. Well, that's funny, because these clocks over here seem to be okay. Uh, there's 20 of them, and they're causing low, no lag to me whatsoever. I put some glowstone here, and this actually is helping a bit. So, I guess the myth that uh, glowstone helps get rid of your lag is not busted. It does help. It gets a little jittery. And you can almost see the lighting on these repeaters not being able to display fast enough. But it's still not nearly as bad as that single repeater clock over there. We'll put the rest of these back. It should clear back up. So, what's different about this one? Well, it could have something to do with this. Uh, this system is run also run by a single clock, and it's hard to be in this room while that clock is running. Does that same jittery lag, but it's not as bad when you're away from it. So. There we have, it's definitely not caught. it's definitely caused by like the visual updates by being in the area near it. And that the weird thing about that is if I fly way out that way and it unloads and reloads the chunk as I fly again towards it, it does that same lag at that distance. So this is bad for the other end of this map where Everything just lags because of the clock at this end of the map. I need to shut this thing off. Phew, okay. Uh, glowstone isn't helping too much. I'd probably have to pack every inch of this room for it to really help. But that really isn't the issue here, is it? That clock up there should not have been affected by anything down here. And yet it was. So... One fact that I've heard is that updating a block will send the entire chunk update to your client. So every time that redstone clock went off, this entire chunk updating was just lagging me. Well, down here, these clocks don't seem to have any problems. So, of course, it must be downward. It really is the lighting from the sky, from the sun. I've heard that if you have clocks high up in your world, it'll just cause more and more lag the higher they are. 
and you should keep them at the lower parts of your world, down close to Y0. But, uh, these clocks don't seem to have much issue. So, yes, it really has to do with the with all this crap under the, a dark ceiling. I have heard these ceilings are bad, and you just have to have the wiring open to the sky to avoid suffering any lag. But, over here, these clocks don't seem to have any issues. Of course, I also have the these glowstoned up a bit. But that's only to stop the lighting update we saw with the clocks earlier when I broke the glowstone. It's not those game-breaking lag spikes we got from that single clock on that platform. But, oh, and redstone lockup. There is one wrong, one wrong thing. That's, that's still in the game. But uh, this ceiling, it does suffer just a tiny bit when I place a block to patch this hole. Eh, I can't see it too much there. Over here... See, I get that spike, and it does that little stop every time I patch that hole. So, lighting, well, I guess darkness updating down here must be causing that huge spike. It's, it's even worse over here. Which is funny. It's, I mean, there's really nothing here for it to be updating. It's just empty space. It's all just air. And it just gets worse with the larger space you get. Get that huge stop. And yeah. So if you actually glowstone the area you're updating, it does seem to work to remove that spike. I'm not getting it. I'm getting a tiny, tiny little bit. I can feel it. But, um, it's definitely not as bad. But, if I only actually light up the surface area that is actually being affected by this lighting update, it's, it still lags you. It still does that huge spike. So, the lag is actually caused by it lighting up every single, or I guess darkening, every single air block in this column. Even though air gives off no visual light to it, it's still creating that spike. So that means I would have to fill every nook and cranny in that wiring box to remove the light, the lag caused by lighting updates. Now, I never finished addressing what's wrong with this clock. Um, truth is I'm not really sure. It might have something to do with the rendering engine that they might rewrite in 1.6 and it's like taking all the lighting underneath the platform into account or it's updating it even though it shouldn't be affected by it at all. Um, or it might just be a bug. So my tips. Number one, putting a floor in your wiring room is good. It helps. It makes a big difference. So, I will get this spike here. Or over here. But, I get it. you get an even worse one over here. And, yeah. I'm put out of a commission for a little while there. So, floor. Good. Um, number two. Don't go vertical, like I did. Lay out your wiring flat, especially if you want to add clocks. It doesn't matter what height the map is. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can put it as high as you want. You can put it over the clouds, which I'll probably move this one up above the clouds. Cloud height is about here somewhere. But as long as you lay it out flat like this, you'll suffer less, less issues overall. And uh, number three is glowstone. Glowstone everywhere. Glowstone everywhere. You could be like me, and um, like you can use night vision potion. 
affect me one million. Uh, one more. There. You'd be like me and use a glow st uh, night vision potion while you're doing your wiring, and you won't get, you know, glowstone in the way. And then when the map is done, you just glowstone the crap out of everything. Everywhere that a uh, repeater light might touch, or you just put it next to a repeater, it'll kind of stop it from updating anywhere. So, yeah. And uh, that's it. Uh, check out this map when it comes out. It's a great map. And we're really good at making maps. And uh, that's it. Later.